Hey, Audrey. Hey, Beth. How's it going? Um, great. How are you? I'm doing just lovely. I haven't seen you in a while. Living the dream. Uh, I haven't seen you. Oh, <laughs> well, I have seen you. Let's not recently. lie. You're right. <laughs> we shouldn't lie. I haven't seen you with uh, headphones on yeah. and a microphone in front of your face in a minute. You have seen me with beer in my hand lately. Yeah. Every day. Uh, <laughs> damn near. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. So, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Beer by the Book, where if we talk about beers and books, surprise. <laughs> but we haven't in a long time. We finished our last season a couple months ago, and we are working on our second season yes. currently. And we thought that we would maybe uh, pop up into your feed mm-hmm. and do like a, a "Hey there, we, we miss, miss you, you. episode." <laughs> Because we, um, I mean, it's summertime, so there's a lot going on. Weddings, camping, uh, work. work. Beth moved into a new house. We got a new podcast studio. Right. And we, yeah, exactly. That's probably the biggest reason is because we didn't have anywhere to do a podcast. Otherwise, you'd be hearing four dogs running around or (laughs) a very echoey room because the other house is empty and, you know. Right. In our last episode, I think the sound quality was awful. Oh, yeah, because I was in the middle of of packing. Yeah. And and we were in, like, an empty room. So now we have a a little tiny studio. In fact, I'm going to get, like, recording lights in the back for the outside. Oh, that's such a good idea. I don't know how cute would that be. And so it's, like, an actual studio. I would say it's maybe, what... Uh, six feet by six. Like it's, it's a little square. Of, it's the size <laughs> of either a studio, a sound studio, or a jail. It is like a jail <laughs> cell. Oh, I'm betting it's six foot. Yeah. My wingspan shows six feet. This wingspan never lies. Nope, that's scientific. <laughs> and I'm clearly six feet tall. Yeah, so we're just super stoked that we uh, are back in podcast world. We're, we didn't leave you guys. We didn't abandon the project. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking, did you guys give up? No, we've just been busy. Turns out this isn't our full-time job. Nope, not our full-time job. But we have kept reading, and we've kept drinking. Yeah. Just not, like, recording it at the same time. Right. We've done a little bit of both. Actually, a lot of bit of both. Yes. I'd say we did a pretty good job of uh, pretending we have this podcast still. (laughs) Right. We were chatting today, and between the both of us, I think... About 20 books? Close to 20 books since we... Oh, we're good. God, we're good. High five. Boom. (laughs) That's so good. Uh, and so today's episode, we're going to talk about some of the books we've been reading this summer. Some of what our favorite ones are. Yeah, what we don't recommend <laughs> in my case. I have a couple. Yes, me too. And then um, I guess what we're drinking, we're just having a couple of beers while we do it. <laughs> yeah, we wanted Nothing to just... Fancy. Um, the craft beer scene, in my opinion, has boomed even in the last three months. I agree. Because every liquor store I go to now, save for a few old school ones, but um, they have so many cool new cans, new beers, new breweries, and I'm excited to share them with you guys. But for this episode, we kind of just stuck with like an old reliable Colorado native. We wanted to take it back home and be like, you know what? I'm not going to adventure out. I'm going to drink what I like. (laughs) Yeah. Stick with what I know. And then, uh, because we don't really have any pairings today, you know? No, we're just kind of chatting, having a conversation with you. Yes. And, so, <laughs> well, we did kind of make it a little different, though, because I got the lager and you got the amber. Um, mine's called an amber lager. Yours is a golden lager. Oh, so we both got lagers. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. They probably taste pretty similar. Yeah. So should we just dive right in? Yeah, I think so. How should we, how do you want to do this? I guess we should have talked about that <laughs> before we started this podcast. Um. Well, let's talk about our summers first. Okay. Um, so last we talked, I was going to different countries, moving it was houses. right before you left for Europe. Uh, yes. So I know my stories. Do you have any stories? Y- you go first. <laughs> <laughs> my life okay. is pretty boring. Yeah. I- I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Um, all I can tell you is a lot. I can't, I take it back. Let me start over. <laughs> um, so last we talked, I went to, or I was going to, um, travel to the UK, Amsterdam, and Scotland. And we did that. And it was super fun. If you are from London, then you know how great London is. If you're not from London, you should totally go. <laughs> um, there's so many things to do. And the weather was perfect. It wasn't like the dead of summer, so it wasn't too hot. And you know me, I'm, I get very angry when I'm hot. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping you don't pop out in anger because <laughs> we are in a room with no ventilation. I know. I was thinking, what if we like did it in the dark? 
Oh. And there's like a heat source, right? Is I kind of like this mood lighting. It's just romantic, I guess. <laughs> it's either romantic or terrifying. It kind of does look like we have a candlelit dinner going on. Like, we have like the cutest me. little table and then our microphones <laughs> are the pretend candles. But then like the glow from the laptop screen is the, the candle yeah. flame. That could also be a heat source. Should oh, I it shut totally it? is. No, don't shut it. We have to record a podcast for once in our lives. Uh, but yeah, so I like how the first thing I mentioned about my vacation was like, it wasn't so hot. Uh, but that was very important to me. But you went to Europe. Yeah, I saw things too. Tell me a story from Europe. <laughs> um, I went to a cute little town in Amps or um, the Netherlands mm-hmm. that was full of windmills. Because when you think of Holland, you think of windmills. But everyone goes to Amsterdam, and there's obviously no windmills in Amsterdam. So um, we rented a B and B that Airbnb that was a boat, and we had like a perfect view of this river, and then like seven windmills along it. Oh wow! Um, it was super pretty, super peaceful, and actually, I've never slept on a boat before, and it was pretty easy. Like you couldn't tell you were waving around or anything. Right. Um, I thought I'd get seasick because. I mean, I've been on a boat on a few boat tours before, and especially when I'm drinking, I'm just like, okay, stop moving the boat, please. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, water. But can you, you could just tell. cut it out, please. <laughs> uh, the only bad part of that was, of course, it was hot in the boat. No, oh. there was no ventilation in that room either. But it was so pretty. Good thing you could just go out of the inside. exactly. What are those called? Houseboat, like the inside of a boat. Cabin, I think. I don't know. Uh, but our host gave us bikes to rent. I mean, t- she let it. She lent us bikes. We didn't oh, have to cool. rent them from her. And so we got to like ride around in the city and be actual Netherlands people because uh-huh. they love their bike riding. So that was a really cute story. Um, a cute thing that happened. That sounds to us. just like a perfect day. It was. It was a f- perfect few days actually. Awesome. We um bought some souvenirs, of course, like little clogs, and Aww. we found some. I didn't get any clogs. Oh my gosh! There was a house like directly from our across from our boat. There was a club boat. And in Amsterdam, especially, like, I guess in Europe, the sun, like, never sets. <laughs> so uh, that's not true. It sets in, like, at, like, midnight. Oh, gosh. So as, at, like, about midnight, we see this party boat across the way, and it's, like, a disco. Like, you hear the mm-ms, 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 Yeah. And all the lights and everything. And we're like, what's going on over there? And the next day we rode our bikes, and it's literally a boat club. Like a, not, a, like a dance boat club. I don't know how they word it. That, like, anybody can go on? Yeah. Oh my and it gosh. sounded awful to me because boats are hot, it turns out. Well, and people are dancing, so the boat is rocking. Scary. I wouldn't like that. And it's such a small town. Like, there was probably 60 people that lived in that town. Well, they <laughs> Maybe had to, 100. <laughs> they had to keep the nightclub off on the water because they didn't want any, yeah. <laughs> any interruptions. But the, the music carries on water. Yeah, That's I guess. Weird. But yeah, that was fun. Scotland was pretty... Um, the weather was great there. Like you it was were there nice for the cool. royal wedding. Oh, I was in England for the royal wedding. Ah! That's right. Oh my god, it was so long ago. I know we have not podcasted. Oh my gosh, minute. it was really fun. We had a tea party at um this this uh, brunch place. So they gave us a bunch of alcohol, of course, and some biscuits and tea, and <laughs> it was so Can prim you and proper. Please do the rest of the podcast <laughs> in your English accent. I can't do that's one though. So bad. I know. I'm just like. <laughs> Hello, please. <laughs> Hello, I'm the Queen of England. I suck at it. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, that's like a, a I've northern offended everyone. accent. And they're just like super. Ca- I think wow, you- we're very American right now. I have no idea. Hello, mate. Hello, How you governor. Doing? <laughs> On oh, wait, your mates bike. Mates are in Australia. This is fun. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um. And then the Scotland story is, oh, I sold my house while I was in Scotland. So that yes, was exciting. You did. I got a con or a contract to sell and we were, it was on the market for longer than I thought it should be. So I was so happy it sold that we, I mean, they were already having a party. So, I mean, we just toasted to it. Right. I went to see the brew dog uh, brewery. Yes. Cause I know one of the, I, I call her an owner, but I think she's not an owner, but I'm going to call her the owner now. Um, I know the owner of BrewDog. I met the guy who invented BrewDog, so that yes. was pretty cool. Oh, I should post that on the podcast. Probably. On the Instagram. Yeah, I like that. That's a great idea. So yeah, I had a great time on my vacation. And you sold your house, and then when you came home, you had a new house. Yeah, I closed on my new house in three days a- after I got back. What? Yeah, so we got back, and then three days later, I bought a house. <laughs> uh, that is record-breaking, because here's the thing. I'm still closing on my house. I was wondering how, what's going on with yours. I've been closing for like 45 days. Why is it taking so long? Because Did I it? didn't give them a lot of the paperwork. And oh, so it's your fault. It is my fault. <laughs> I didn't get them all that stuff. Uh, so everything's in now and they just have to process it. 
Well, good. It was definitely my fault. We're going to be homeowners soon. I know. Twin homeowners. Whoop, whoop. So Go. that's uh, that's really what I've been up to is my new job. I work at the place that finances homes, mm-hmm. and that's my job. It's actually really fun. I did not think that I would enjoy that, but I, <laughs> I do. And, that's awesome. Uh, and I'm using my company to finance my home. So no. I'm making money and then giving it right back to them. <laughs> I'm sure you get a discount? Uh, yeah, I do actually. Hell yeah! I get a um a a, a rate discount, a discount on the rate. Nice. Whoop! Hell yeah! So that's you've been awesome. adulting this summer, super adulting. Um, and you've been working out a lot. You're like a gym addict. No, I'm not a gym addict. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying. My job is at a desk, and I'm at the mm. desk for nine hours. And so, <laughs> oh my gosh. So on my computer, you know how on Max you can like see people's texts come through? My husband just texts me as I'm talking about this. He's like, Jim, after work? <laughs> I told you you're an I addict. I should text him. Yes, of course, love. Of I course. love working out. <laughs> no, I just feel like, a, I just feel gross when I come home from work because I just sit and I don't like that. I've been doing that kind of job forever, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love it in the, while I'm doing it, but I don't love You're like, it. like, I haven't moved today. Right. I don't like going home and then not moving. Wow. Oh, that's my favorite part. Uh, I don't even have to come home. I am home, and I'm not moving. I know. You work from home. It's that's the, too cool. It's why I've gained a 1,000 pounds <laughs> since I've since I got this job. But that's okay. I don't care. I think that's just part of adulting, though. Gaining weight. It's true. It's true. That's just what we're supposed to do now. Shit. (laughs) (laughs) It's only downhill from here. It's only downhill. (laughs) I'm going to turn the light back on. (laughs) Oh, wow. So less romantic with the light on. I know. Um, Do you want to talk about our books? Yes, I do, because I have have read a ton over the last two months. All right, let's start with your least favorite that you read. Okay, let me get at my Goodreads. Okay, me too. Because you know I write everything. <laughs> I do too. It's the only way I can keep track. Um, if you guys want to find me on Goodreads, my name is Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what my user... How do you find your user? I don't know. Maybe um, we'll like link to it on our Insta or something. Okay, I'm just going to keep talking and then maybe I'll find it as I am looking through my Goodreads while I'm talking. Go to your, your shelves shelves uh then you're red uh, okay there we go thanks mom least favorites so last book we talked about was camino island yes okay, uh so, no or yes. flat broke yes 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 camino island okay so since then i've read little fires everywhere no 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 what? start with your least favorite I know that wasn't your least favorite. Oh, least favorite? I didn't even put on here because it was stupid. You don't... You read it, though. Uh... What's your least amount of stars, then? Uh... <laughs> you read so much. The Wife Bete- Between Us by Greer H- Hendricks. Tell me about that one. Why was so it bad? So that was... The reason I picked it... My mom mailed it to me, and she was like, you should read this. And I read it, and I didn't like it because... First of all, there's two authors, and typically when you have well, two, weird. two authors, they, like, pick up where the other person left off, yeah. or they, like, take over their own chapters, um, and these authors, they wrote it together, and I think that since they were collaborating on every single word of the book, it was super jumbled, and hmm. th- at the end, they tried to do, like, this, like, uh, crazy twist at the end, but it was really, like, okay, but... It, it didn't make sense. It didn't flow at all. Okay. And so the two authors were a hindrance to the. Well, by the end of the book, I don't know if narration. that's it, but that's definitely how it felt. Um, and then by who were the, the authors? Uh, let me check. Uh, ta What was the book called again? Uh, the Wife Between Us. Mm. So Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pakenen. Greer. Greer. Huh. G R E E R. Two. They're both women. Oh. Um, but at the end of the book, I was like, oh, I need to, I want to re reread it. Not mm-hmm. because I was like, oh my gosh, that was so good. I want to reread it. I'll probably miss or find all these clues. Mm-hmm. Instead, I was like, I want to reread it. Cause now I have a very crucial part of the story <laughs> that I needed to know at the beginning of the book. Uh, so they were trying to keep 